So here's the solution to this one. Create a font that multiplies two arguments which share, which are both of type int and returns the result as an int. Print out the return value. So I'm going to create a func which uh, takes in two values, both of type int, and uh, it's going to return an int. So remember our signature for functions is func, receiver, which is option, optional, identifier, which in this case is foo, parameters, returns, return or returns, and then code. Right? Like that's our signature for a function. You should memorize that. And so now I come down here and I'm going to return x times y. x times y is an expression. It'll evaluate to a value. And then we'll return that and all of that is our statement. Then up here I'm going to call func foo. So foo and I'm going to pass in uh, two values. And this will evaluate to a value, right? When I run that, that's going to evaluate to a value. It's going to call foo. It's going to pass in 40 and assign that to x. It's going to pass in 45 and assign that to y. It's going to multiply 40 times 45, return that, which is an int, and now I'm returning a value. If I try to run this right now, it's going to give me an error. Where am I? Nothing happened, right? It ran, but it didn't do anything with the value. Now I'm going to catch that value. It returns the value and assigns it to z. This is going to be a value. It gets assigned to z. Now I'm going to func.println that value. Now when I run it, it prints out 1800. Cool.